Okay, I'm going to build my pie by opening my argon case. And I'm going to remove the extender board. When you're connecting everything up, be careful of these six pins here. And here's the power settings. I'm going to leave that jumper on pins one and two for default power. Now connect the extender board to the Pi 5. Now we need to install the PCIe cable. You're going to lift up on the lock mechanism, which is that dark piece of plastic. And put that ribbon cable down through the top with the orange side facing the USB connectors. When it's in there, just push down on that dark gray connector or the locking mechanism. And pay attention to the pins when you're connecting this together. We're going to put the pie board and the extender into the top of the case. Okay, next we're going to put the uh, PCIe cable in the bottom case by pushing out on the locking mechanism. Then slide the end of the PCIe cable into the white connector. And then putting the locking mechanism back in. You can push it in with two fingers, one on each side of the cable. Okay, next we're going to secure the boards to the case by putting one screw here and one screw here. Now insert the micro SD card with the operating system. Now put the bottom of the case on, being sure not to pinch the PCIe cable. Then put the four screws in to secure the bottom to the top of the case. Now we're going to remove these four screws to remove the heat sink for the NVMe. That's the connector for the NVMe. The notch should match the notch on the VME card. Remove the NVMe securing screw. And push the NVMe card into the connector at an angle. Until it's all the way in. Now put the screw in to secure the NVMe board to the case. And don't forget to install the silicon thermal pads. I forgot. You can follow any instructions in the manual that came with the argon case. Now put the four screws back in. Okay, to enable the PCIe on the Raspberry Pi 5, open a terminal and type sudo nano slash boot slash firmware slash config.txt. And then somewhere in here, I'm just going to uncomment one of these lines. And 
and then change it to read DTPARAM equals PCIEX1. Then you're going to hit Control O, Enter, Control X. Yes. And then reboot your machine. Okay, next, after you boot up, go to Accessories, Raspberry Pi Imager, and we're going to install Raspberry Pi on the NVMe by choosing Device, Raspberry Pi, Operating System, Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, and storage, select your NVMe, then click yes. When that's done, open a terminal and type sudo raspy-config. Then use the arrow key to go down to number six, advanced options, hit enter. Then go down to A4, boot order, press enter, then choose B2, NVMe boot. Then press enter. Then hit enter for OK. Then tab to finish, hit enter, and then yes to reboot. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.